very first thing you need to do when you have your paper, yours will be black, is write your name on it, okay? My name is Brittany Bowen. You're writing your name. You also need to write whose class you're in. So for example, you're not gonna write Miss Bowen. I know you're currently in art class, but I want you to write your teacher's name. So if you're in Miss Salgado's class, she's a kindergarten teacher, so you're probably not. But if you're in Miss Lidicote's class, you're gonna write Lidicote. Okay? That way, these won't get lost. They're gonna be on drying racks instead of your folders because they're gonna be wet at certain points. They're gonna be all over the place. They won't be in your folders, so I just wanna make sure that they stay not lost. So you write your name, write your teacher's name. So we're gonna be making our Sandra Silberzweig inspired portraits. They'll look something like this when we're finished. So in order to start, You'll have a black piece of paper. Mine is brown because it was gonna to be too hard for you to see this video if it was on black. Um, so yours is brown and it, all I'm, I'm also gonna be doing mine with a marker. You'll be using a pencil, okay? The, the pencil will be too hard for you to see on the video. So I'm using a marker, you're using a pencil. Got it, got it. Okay, the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is have our paper tall ways or portrait ways. And I like to just kind of find where the middle of my paper is by putting a dot down. So I kind of, it's not gonna be perfect, but just try to guess where is about halfway. And I'm gonna put a little dot for my halfway point, okay? And it doesn't have to be very big, just big enough for you to see it. We're gonna cover it with a line. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is draw a line starting at my halfway dot that goes almost all the way up to the very top of the paper. Just a nice straight line, boom. I stopped like a tiny bit before I got to the end, but you can go all the way to the top or whatever you want. So I've got that line and then I'm gonna turn it into an L shape. So I am going to, from this bottom point, I'm gonna take a line out, maybe just about halfway to the edge. Nice little L. Okay. Then I'm gonna try and kind of make this a 3D L. So we're gonna do a little baby line, straight line up from the edge there. Then we've gotta make one that's the same as this, but above. So we're going to start right there and connect it. And I'm gonna stop Watch, I'm gonna stop before I get all the way to this line. So I've got maybe like about two fingers can fit in between there, okay? Maybe one, it's okay if it's one finger or two or three. You are each your own artist, so you can choose how you want it. Once you've got that gap, we're gonna go straight up, following our straight up line. Boom, stop at about the same point you stopped your other one, and then connect them noise. Now we have our L and that's going to be our nose. Okay. Now we want to do some eyes and um, Sandra Silberzweig uses a shape called an ellipse. Uh, it kind of looks like a football. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. I'm going to start over on this side and um, you can kind of choose maybe about halfway in the middle of your L there. You can do a line that goes straight across. It doesn't have to touch the sides of the paper, but just go as far as you can. Then we're going to do like a rainbow line on the top. Boop. That's our first half of our ellipse. And then the bottom is just going to be the same. It's going to be a rainbow line that connects the bottom. Boom. Kind of looks like a circle even. Um, yours might look Yours could look a little more like a football where these are pointier. Mine's almost circle-y and that's okay. All right, now this is gonna be our eye. This top part is our eyelid. So this is gonna be where our eyeball is. The first thing we need is the iris and that's the part of your eye that has the color in it. So maybe your eyes are brown or blue. Um, so you're gonna just draw a little connecting line. It starts up at the bottom of the eyelid and just goes 
to the bottom of the eye. Just kind of like a little curve. And then on the other side, we'll do the same. Boom, so that's gonna be our iris, okay? Then in the middle of that is our little black dot called the pupil. You're gonna do your little black dot, okay? You don't need to color it in, we'll color it in later. So just have your little dot, okay? Then you can choose, so when we finish our drawing, we're gonna add glue to all of these lines. Glue likes to spread out. Um, it, it doesn't stay in a skinny line very well. So I'm about to tell you, we're about to add some stripes here, but you wanna keep the stripes far enough apart that when the glue spreads, it doesn't spread into itself, okay? So for example, I'm gonna do a couple of straight lines like this. Notice they're far enough apart that if the glue were to spread, it's not gonna spread that far, okay? So make them nice and spread apart. You don't wanna do like a bunch of little lines because that's gonna get messy. Okay, so there's my eye. The next thing, I think we should add an eyebrow. So I'm gonna do just a curvy line. It's gonna kind of follow that same curve, but I'm gonna start it out a little bit farther, maybe over here, and curve, boom. And then to make it 3D, you'll kind of do the same as we did with our L here. You're gonna do a straight line, a little straight line, and then you follow that same curve, boom. And I just added it to a point at that end. Okay. Now you can see I maybe didn't really find my center very well, because you can already tell this side of my face is a lot bigger than this side. That's kind of cool, with abstract, it doesn't matter if it looks perfect, right? Because abstract doesn't look exactly the same as a normal face. So I'm fine with it. I'm gonna just uh, keep playing along and I'm gonna make this eye really big and maybe even do it a little bit lower. So I'm gonna start my eye line down here. I can already tell that's gonna be a lot bigger than this one. Okay, then I'm gonna make my rainbow line. And my next rainbow line at the bottom. Okay, then we need to do the irises again. So again, that's that little, um, you start it about here and just curve it. And on the other side too, curve it. And then the pupil right in the middle. I'm gonna make this pupil a little bigger than my other one. So I think that's fun that it looks different from this one. And maybe for my lines on this one, maybe I'll do lines the opposite direction to add some variety to make it a little bit different. I wouldn't try to go any closer together. Those are gonna be really tight glue lines. And maybe up here, instead of doing an eyebrow, I could do some really long, crazy looking eyelashes. So I could do like some really long, tall sections. You are your own artist. You can choose. You might want to do, you could add just another eyebrow here and make it an eyebrow. You could do shorter eyelashes than what I'm doing. I'm kind of just inventing my own style here, okay? So we've got that. Now I think we should skip down to our mouth. Our mouth is going to be below the nose and we're going to start it's gonna be um, another rainbow line. We're gonna make another ellipse for our mouth. And sometimes I like to just kind of imaginary draw before I actually commit and take my pencil to draw. I like to take my finger and just kind of imagine, draw an imaginary line and see how big I want it. So if I do a mouth like that big, I think that's gonna to be too small. If I do it like whoosh, that's probably way too big. So I wanna try and find something kind of in between that. Once I feel like I have a good shape, a good size, I'm gonna go for it and just draw, boom. The top part of my lip, it's just, it kinda of looks like a frowny face, like we're frowning, right? This is gonna become another ellipse. So the next thing, once you have this frown line, you're just gonna draw a straight line that connects these two ends. Okay. And then 
we're going to do the same on the bottom. Boom, there is our mouth. Okay, we need to frame this into a face now. So we're going to do a big curvy line. I'm going to start right here underneath the chin, maybe or underneath the lip to make my chin. I might even make a little point so I know where it's going to be. You don't want it to be too far down. I still have a good amount of space there. And then we've got to make a curve that goes all the way from here up. I'm going to go up kind of to my eyes. So check this out. Boom. And I just kind of curve it until it goes off the page. Okay. Do the same on the other side. Oops, I accidentally colored on the table. <laughs> okay, so there's our face. Now we need a neck. The neck is just going to be two lines. I'm going to start um, kind of like right here on off of the chin. It's just going to be two straight lines. Boom. Boom. Now some of you might have your mouths and everything might be, your face might be a lot lower. Some of your faces might be a lot higher. That's okay. You can just make a longer or a shorter neck if you need to. It's no big deal. And then off of our neck, we need two lines that are kind of curvy, almost diagonal that go down. These are going to be our shoulders. Okay, so I'm just going to connect from here and go down off the paper from here and down off the paper. The last thing we're going to add is um, some sections. So you can see, I'll swap this out. You can add some extra sections because each section is going to get some cool different colors in it. Um, so we're just going to use our marker or our pencil. You have pencils. And we're going to make some lines. I might do um, this line for my shirt. So now we know I have a shirt. And I'll add some sections in here on my shirt. Maybe just some straight lines. Boom. 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 Um, I added some, I like to add some on my face too so that it breaks it up because right now this whole big thing is one section without any breaks. So maybe I'll add a line here coming off of the nose. Boom. And another one up here from the eye. You can choose. You don't have to do the same sections that I'm doing. You can make your own. I might do one more down here off of my lip. Okay. Again, you just want to remember, don't put any lines too close together because of the glue. When the glue spreads, you'll be really sad. So I'm thinking that looks pretty good. I'm happy with the lines I have, and I'm going to call it a day. You can add more lines if you want. And we'll see you for the glue video.